Hey, what's up everybody? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how we can work with an array of objects in JavaScript. What we'll do is create an array of fruit objects. We'll create five fruit objects. To create an object, you need a set of curly braces. Each object will be comma separated. Just for my own readability, I'm going to place each object on a new line. Objects can have their own unique properties and methods. Our first fruit object will have a name of apple, a color of red, and calories, meaning calories per serving, of 95. This is our first object. Let's copy these properties, paste them for object 2, change name to be orange, color will also be orange, calories 45. Object 3, name will be banana, color, yellow, calories, 105. Object 4, coconut, color, white, calories, 159. Then our last object will be pineapple, color, yellow, calories, 37. Alright, and here is our array of objects. There's a lot we can do with this. If you ever need a property within one of these objects of your array, you would take the array, in this case fruits, add an index number, dot the name of the property. For example, name. I need the name property of the first object, which would be apple. So let's test that. Console.log. What is the name property of our array fruits at index zero? That would be apple. One is orange. 2 is banana, 3 is coconut, 4 pineapple. Let's select a different property. Let's go with the calories. 95, 45, 105, 159, 37. That's how to access a property within an array of objects. To add a new object, you can use the push method. Let's take our array of fruits, use the push method, we will push a new object into our array. The name will be grapes, color purple, calories 62. Then let's console.log our array. Console.log fruits. So we have six. Apple, orange, banana, coconut, pineapple, and grapes, uh, which I misspelt. Grepkiz. You can use the pop method to remove an element. Fruits.pop. This should remove pineapple. Apple, orange, banana, coconut. No pineapple. Or splice. Splice will remove elements at certain indices. Fruits.splice. Let's select indices 1 through 2. All we're left with is apple, coconut, pineapple. You can use the for each method to loop through the elements of your array. Let's display each object's name. Fruits dot for each. We need a callback, a function expression, or an arrow function. Let's use an arrow function. For every fruit, do this. Console.log each fruit. This will return entire objects. For one of the properties, we'll select dot the property name. We have all the fruit names. Let's go with the colors and the calories. There we are. There's also the map method. The map method will run each element through a function and return a new array. Let's create an array of fruit names. Const fruit names equals take our array of fruits use the built-in map method, we'll use an arrow function. For every fruit, arrow, return the fruit's name. Then we will console.log our array of fruit names. And here's our array of fruit names. Let's do this with colors. Fruit colors, Return every color property of each fruit. Then console.log our fruit colors. 
Red, orange, yellow, white, yellow. Let's do this with calories. Fruit calories. Return each calories property. Console.log. Our fruit calories array. So the map method will return a new array. Let's cover filter. Filter will return a new array after using each element and checking a condition. Let's return a new array where the color of each fruit is yellow. There's two. Const yellow fruits equals take our array of fruits. Use the filter method. We have one parameter, a fruit, arrow, then a condition. We'll return this fruit if the fruit's color property is strictly equal to yellow. Then console.log array of yellow fruits. And there's two, bananas and pineapples. Their colors are both yellow. Let's create a new array of any fruits that are low in calories, where the calories are below 100. Const low cal fruits take our array of fruits use the built-in filter method for every fruit arrow check the calories of each fruit is it less than 100 if it is put it within this new array and here we are we have three fruits that are low in calories apple orange pineapple the calories are 95 45 37 they're all less than 100 Let's find any high calorie fruits. Change our array to be high cal fruits, where the calories of each fruit is greater than or equal to 100. Console.log our array of high cal fruits. There are two bananas and coconuts. The calories are 105 and 159. Let's use the reduce method now. I'll admit this is going to be a little tricky, but I'll try my best to walk you through it. The reduce method will return a single value, in this case, an object, one of these objects. Let's return the object with the greatest amount of calories. We'll store that within a constant, const max fruit equals take our array of fruits, use the reduce method. There's going to be two parameters, an accumulator, which keeps track of the greatest value during each iteration and the next element, but I think we should rename these. Let's rename our accumulator as max. It's gonna be the current record holder of the object with the greatest amount of calories. Element will be fruit, meaning the next fruit. Here are the two parameters. Arrow, what are we gonna check? Is our fruit, the next fruit in line, are the calories greater then our current record holders, calories, max.calories. Just for readability, I'm going to put this on a new line. We're going to use the ternary operator. Is this true? Does the next fruit have more calories than our record holder? If it does, we'll return our fruit, meaning the next fruit, colon, meaning otherwise, return the max again. Let's see if this works. Let's console.log our fruit with the maximum amount of calories, which is our coconut, with 159 calories. If you just need the calories, you would type dot calories. That will just give you the calories. But in this case, we're returning an entire object. Let's find the fruit with the least amount of calories. Let's copy our code, paste it, and make a few changes. Min fruit, change max to be min. The condition will be, is the calories of the next fruit less than the calories of the minimum record holder? Then console.log our min fruit, which is our pineapple with 37 calories. All right, everybody, so those are a few ways in which you can work with an array of objects. There's a lot you can do with them. You can map, you can filter, you can reduce, you can splice, you can pop, you can push, all sorts of things. And well, that is an example of an array of objects in JavaScript.